Respiratory Care Insights Top 10 Foods That Cause Mucus, Avoid With Asthma and COPD Mucus, a viscous substance that coats the respiratory passage, plays a crucial role in safeguarding the lungs against infections and foreign matter. However, an excessive production of mucus can result in various issues such as breathing difficulties, coughing, and a congested nose. Those who have encountered an overabundance of mucus can attest to the frustration it brings. Having said that, it is important to note that many individuals are not aware that the dietary choices they make could potentially contribute to the buildup of excessive mucus in their respiratory system. In this informative video, we will explore the primary culprits behind increased mucus production caused by certain foods. Make sure to stay tuned until the conclusion, as there is one particular food item that may catch you off guard. Please note that we are not medical professionals. The content of this video is purely for informational purposes. One of the primary suspects we must address is bread. Bread is a common dietary staple, but it may come as a disappointment to learn that it can contribute to heightened mucus production. A study revealed a connection between bread consumption and chronic rhinosinusitis accompanied by nasal polyps. Specifically, individuals who consumed over two slices of white bread daily exhibited higher rates of these symptoms. Additionally, Researchers discovered a correlation between bread consumption and asthma, with those who consumed bread being more prone to experiencing asthma symptoms like wheezing, chest tightness, and shortness of breath. Coming up next, we have processed meat, which undergoes various treatments to prolong its shelf life and enhance its taste. This category encompasses popular items like bacon, ham, hot dogs, sausage, and lunch meat. We decided to include it in our discussion due to a recent study that revealed a concerning association between consuming processed meat and an elevated risk of COPD, a respiratory condition that hampers breathing. The research indicated that for every 10 grams of processed meat consumed daily, the likelihood of developing COPD increased by 7%. Unfortunately, one of the undesirable consequences of COPD is excessive mucus production. Another food that deserves attention is sugar. Extensive research has shown that sugar is not conducive to a nutritious diet. Furthermore, a recent study discovered a correlation between sugar intake and heightened mucus production. This study examined the impact of sugar on nasal mucus in both individuals without health issues and those with asthma. The findings revealed that both groups experienced an increase in mucus production after consuming sugar. Notably, individuals with asthma exhibited a more pronounced response, generating even more mucus than their healthy counterparts. These findings suggest that sugar may contribute to the exacerbation of asthma symptoms, potentially worsening the condition in the long run. Moving on to our next topic, let's discuss the benefits and potential drawbacks of consuming milk. It is widely known that milk is rich in calcium and essential nutrients. However, it is worth noting that some studies have suggested a potential association between milk consumption and increased mucus production. In one particular study, participants who consumed milk were found to have higher levels of mucus in their nasal passages and were more prone to experiencing a sore throat. Additionally, milk intake was also linked to a higher incidence of colds. Another category that requires attention is quick service dining. It is widely known that fast food is detrimental to our health, but it may come as a surprise that it can also contribute to excessive mucus production. A recent study discovered a correlation between consuming fast food and a heightened likelihood of developing asthma. The research revealed that with each weekly serving of fast food, the risk of asthma increased by 18%.
As mentioned earlier, one of the unfortunate consequences of asthma is the overproduction of mucus. However, moving on to another topic of concern, we must address the detrimental effects of carbonated beverages. Similar to the aforementioned fast food, soda has been associated with an elevated risk of developing asthma and excessive mucus production. This can be attributed to the high sugar content found in soda, as excessive sugar consumption has been linked to inflammation. Inflammation, in turn, can lead to various health issues such as sinus congestion and an overabundance of mucus. Furthermore, the consumption of sugar prompts the release of inflammatory substances within the body, including histamine, which is notorious for triggering mucus production. Furthermore, compounding the issue is the common practice of consuming carbonated beverages alongside indulgent yet satisfying fast food. This combination exacerbates the accumulation of excessive mucus in the respiratory passages, creating a detrimental double impact. Moving forward, let's discuss the topic of cheese. Consumption of cheese and other dairy products can sometimes result in difficulties breaking down and absorbing lactose, a specific component. In response, our bodies tend to generate excess mucus, which can lead to various issues like diarrhea, constipation, and nausea. Furthermore, many dairy products, including cheese, share a common characteristic of containing high levels of saturated fat. These fats are also believed to stimulate mucus production. Since cheese is derived from cow's milk, which is rich in saturated fat, it follows suit that it can prompt the body to produce more mucus as a protective measure against potential harm. And it's important to mention the significance of eggs in this video. Eggs are a widely used ingredient in various dishes and are known for their high protein content and nutritional value. However, there are concerns among certain researchers regarding the potential link between eggs and increased mucus production. One hypothesis suggests that certain properties in eggs may stimulate the release of histamine, which in turn triggers mucus production in the body. Another possibility is that eggs contain a specific protein that can elicit an immune response in certain individuals. This immune reaction can lead to the production of antibodies and subsequent inflammation, potentially resulting in heightened mucus production. Maize is a topic that warrants discussion. It is a widely consumed food in various global cuisines, and although seemingly innocuous, some researchers suggest it may contribute to heightened mucus production. A study revealed that individuals who consumed maize protein experienced elevated mucus levels, accompanied by increased sneezing, itching, and a runny nose. Additionally, these individuals were more prone to asthma attacks. While the study indicates a potential link between maize and mucus production, its significance for the general population remains uncertain. Further investigation is necessary. If concerned about mucus buildup caused by maize, one may consider eliminating it from their diet. Coming up next on our agenda is the topic of sodium-rich foods. Unfortunately, a significant number of people are consuming excessive amounts of sodium in their daily diets. This overconsumption of sodium is primarily due to the prevalence of sodium-packed foods in our regular meals which may contribute to an increase in mucus production. The reason behind this lies in the fact that sodium triggers inflammation in the body, leading to swelling. Consequently, the body produces more mucus as a natural defense mechanism. A recent study discovered that individuals who consumed salty foods had higher levels of mucus and were more prone to experiencing a sore throat. Additionally, sodium intake was associated with an increased frequency of colds. While it is crucial to include some salt in our diets, it is equally important to be mindful of our consumption levels. If you are experiencing issues with excessive mucus, 
It might be wise to limit your intake of salty foods. There is a significant global interest in finding ways to alleviate respiratory discomfort caused by excess mucus and phlegm. The information presented in this video aims to provide helpful insights. It is important to note that we are not medical professionals, and this video should not be considered as medical advice. It is purely for informational purposes. However, we hope that you have gained valuable knowledge and are now closer to improving your overall well-being. If you have any feedback or would like to explore this topic further, please feel free to share in the comment section below. Thank you for watching until the end. Wishing you a wonderful day and may you always breathe freely. Thanks for watching at Respiratory Care Insights.